I'm Kirsten Thompson from Kirsten Thompson Architects and Bath Park Lane is a multi-residential development. It's beautifully positioned between Nicholson Street, connected by land through Balf Park, right on the edge of a park that's super connected to Brunswick East. By pulling the buildings apart into four, you can create things like laneways, really lovely in-between spaces, as well as the courtyard, which benefits the development, but also the neighbours to the north. Most of our dwellings are going to have dual aspect, which means they've got a front and a back, natural light from two sides, but also cross-flow ventilation. Brunswick East, it's an easy ride, reasonably easy walk to the city, public transport and it's also on the edge of some of our really important environmental assets like Mary Creek uh, and a really amazing Melbourne institutions like Ceres. The need to build projects that will last and endure. Part of that is embedded sustainability initiatives passive design, resilient materials, solar generation of power, water retention and so forth on site. We've selected things that have a lovely sense of warmth and intimacy about them and a celebration of natural materials like the timber floors, the timber joinery, but also we've incorporated CLT panels on our ceilings. So there are some options in the palette, it's in the bathrooms, there's a choice of a terracotta or a grey porcelain tile. My preference is the terracotta. We've been able to introduce a number of different living options. We've also been able to cater for different size dwellings. So you'll find one, two, three and four bedroom apartments and townhouses. You could live your whole life here, upscaling or downsizing through the whole suite of, of living options. A lot of the apartments and townhouses, they look out to Balf Park. Not just look out, but they open out to it as well. And they are designed just a few steps above the park. When we were designing that, we were thinking of, say, the Brooklyn Brownstone, for instance, a few steps on the footpath. You can hang out on the steps, you can talk to your neighbours and we felt that was a really lovely way to engage with the park. 